another beautiful day in Plymouth. <laughs> Where are we going? So we're going up to Dartmoor, a place called Belliver. Okay. Belliver Forest. Okay. And Belliver Tour. Okay. I think that's the name of it anyway. Cool. arrived Balava Forest which I don't know it's about a 20 20 or 30 minute drive outside of Plymouth and I have not been in a place this beautiful in a long time nature everywhere animals lakes I'll show you guys around in a sec hey buddy who's there who's there Who's that? Hey. The lads stay out, innit? <laughs> Who's that, boy? What's that? What's that? So we stopped over at Tesco just before this, bought some picnic-y things and some sandwiches and some fruit. We're gonna sit down at the table and have lunch. I mean, look at this place. I'm blown away, it's beautiful. I love it here. Or for a stroll into the wilderness. been such a healthy day so far. Sean and I went for a little 5k run this morning. Now we're here hiking around. Had a very healthy picnic with uh, carrot sticks, hummus, grapes, healthy stuff. Feeling good. I needed I needed a healthy day after after Amsterdam and London with all the vegan junk, food, beers, cocktails. Good times. Me, mate. We're at bed of a tour. Is it on is it on Google? Yeah, I think so. Check out Bed of a Tour on you on uh well you can check it on YouTube, but check it on Google. It's cool here. It or just come here. Go kill the troll. <laughs> Just got back from Bal Balava Tor. Balava Tor. Had a little bit of dinner and we're heading to an open air open air cinema right now. So we're heading out, hopping on a ferry, going somewhere, and we're gonna watch Star Wars in an open air cinema. I'm hella excited. <laughs> Hey, you coming with? You wanna watch the movie?
Plymouth, Cornwall, Devon, nothing but just beauty everywhere in continuous perfect weather at least since I've been here those weather guardian angels man useful to have heading to the open air cinema I have um, a few extra jackets and some warm layers because I'm told it's probably get a bit cold tonight chair we're gonna watch a movie we're watching Star Wars Rogue One I've never been to an open air cinema or anything of that sort so I have seen the movie before but I really enjoyed it so I'm not a big Star Wars fan so amped so that house up on the hill what is it so once upon a time it would have been like a, a house of a rich landowner so they would have owned the entire pro pro uh, you know the entire lands whereas now I think it's owned by I don't know some kind of trust or whatever so it's open to the public okay and you have to pay to visit the house but you can come here and have you been in there yeah yeah, it's all right. Is it nice? Yeah, it's nice, but you know, it's, there's not a lot of like. <laughs> yeah, it's all right, you know. <laughs> but it's not like there are a few houses in the area that are owned by the National Trust, which take care of old buildings, and they're really nice because they've got like the original furnishings in there and old paintings. Well, that's kind of gutted and isn't really the same. Is it where they formed Downton Abbey? <laughs> no. You know that show? Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> of course, man. Obviously, that's just uh, you know, it's just a, a reality doc uh, documentary. Yeah. Yeah, just down the road. Cool. <laughs> This is pretty cool. Open air cinema, got a little bar over there. I'm pretty excited, this is gonna be fun. That was a truly epic day. Words can't describe how much fun I had. Adventuring out in uh, the wilderness and the mountains with the dog, hanging out, picnics, and then open air cinema. Time to crash. I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs>